20 minutes of nonstop news begins with questions and concerns over the safety of Philadelphia School District buildings just days before teachers return. The school district is reopening this month for in person learning for pre K through second grade students. Staff is scheduled to report on Monday, two weeks before students get there. NBC 10's Stephanie Jimenez is live outside Thomas Mifflin School in East Falls with the details. Stephanie? Yeah, so Tracy, the teachers who instruct kids in pre K through second grade are going to come back on Monday, and then their students are going to return two weeks after that. In the meantime, the district has been ramping up safety measures, doing things like installing fans along windows to allow for proper airflow in many of these classrooms. But parents and some teachers say they're not impressed with that. These are the fans the school district of Philadelphia is installing in dozens of its buildings as it plans to welcome 9,000 students back on February 22nd. It's just one of the many safety measures the district says it's taking to ensure that schools don't become COVID super spreaders. We have followed the science, and the science has indicated that you need to introduce fresh air into uh, these spaces. But the fans are doing little to cool down concerns from parents like Elizabeth Torres Pacheco. I don't like the idea. Elizabeth has two kids in the Philly school system. She worries the fans won't provide enough airflow in classrooms once students return. It's not enough. The Philadelphia Teachers Union agrees. As the union have asked for a mutual third party to uh, deal with this issue and to uh, Hear a case that we are going to make saying that the uh, buildings, the classrooms are not adequately ventilated. The arguments doing very little to ease the fears of parents like Elizabeth. For now, her kids are staying home. Now, in the meantime, the teachers' union says that it's awaiting the results of those airflow tests from its own expert, and those results should come back this weekend before those teachers return. Now, this is something that we spoke with Dr. Height about, and he says that regardless of what those tests show, the teachers will be back on Monday, no matter what. Live in East Falls, Stefania Jimenez, NBC10 News. A polarizing issue. Stephania, thank you. Tracy.